hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have 27 is equals to 9 to the power of x and here we solve this problem for all the values of x so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root uh, and at the end uh, i can explain the difference between solution and extraneous root so please watch this video at the end but that you see here this is the exponential equation problem because here you see that the variable is appears in exponent of 9 so this means that this is the exponential equation problem uh, so uh, here we have uh, there are many ways to solve this equation uh, the one method is you can just apply the log on both of the sides and the other method is yeah, we just make the uh, basis on both of the sides are into the prime factors form and we easily get the values of x so i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and the very first thing we are going to do is here first we use the factorization prime factorization technique and we know that uh, the prime factors of 27 are 3 cubed and we know that the prime factors of 9 are 3 square so we replace these two values on both of the sides of this equation and we write this 27 as 3 cubed and we write this 9 as 3 square and its whole power is x so further in the next step we apply here another exponential law you know about that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n so we use this exponential law into the right hand side and our right hand side is written as in this form uh, so we have 3 to the power of 3 is right is as I written as it is and we have this is exponent to the exponent so these two are multiplied by each other and we get 3 to the power of 2x and now uh, here we use another exponent law you know that if we have a to the power of m is equals to a to the power of n you see here the basis on both of these two terms are same so we equate its exponents and when you equate its exponents it will be written as m is equals to n so uh, according to this rule uh, you see here the basis on both of the sides are same so we equate its exponents and we get here this is 3 is equals to 2x and because we solve this problem for the values of x so that's why we need to remove this 2 from right hand side so in order to remove this 2 from right hand side we will take uh, we will just divide both of the sides by 2 okay in order to remove this 2 so this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get here our x is equals to 3 divided by 2. So this is the value of x uh, and you see here we get, we get just only one root of the given equation. And now here in the next steps we need to verify this root of the given equation uh, and for verification of the roots uh, we need uh, to copy down given question statement here it is 27 equals to 9 to the power of x this is our given question statement and here uh, we substitute the value of x uh, into the right hand side and we check that is both of the sides are equal or not so you see here we have this is 27 is equals to 9 to the power of x and our x is equals to 3 over 2 and we have this is 9 so we write this 9 as 3 cubed and its whole power is 3 over 2 and this is our 27 so here we again use uh, the exponential law sorry the 9 is the 3 square so here we use uh, another exponential law and uh, for this we need to multiply these two exponents and it will be written as 3 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 over 2 and you see here this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we easily get uh, 27 is equals to 3 cubed and uh, we know that uh, 3 cubed is equals to also 27 so this shows that left hand side is equals to right hand side and this means that the value of x is equals to 3 over 2 is satisfied our given question statement and this is the our final answer of this question uh, and uh, 
here I can explain the difference between solution and extraneous roots so you know about that uh, the <coughs> the roots which is satisfied over given question statement is called the solution of the given question statement and the roots which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous roots but here unfortunately we cannot get any uh, extraneous root but we have only the uh, solution of the given equation so our final conclusion uh, final conclusion is that the solution set of this question is 3 divided by 2 this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos